Well, ringgit actually has strengthened because it should have. Because it should. Right? Ringgit overshot. Any financial and any fundamental analysis uh, when you saw ringgit going to 430, 440 to the US dollars, right? No financial uh, uh, assessment could justify that. It was very much sentiment driven. It definitely overshot. Right? On a fundamental basis, I always said ringgit was was a circle four. Right? Now, if you look uh, further out, then the value of the ringgit actually will be driven externally. Right? If you can tell me where US interest rates are going to go, if you're going to, you can tell me where the renminbi is going to go, then I can tell you where the ringgit is going to go. Right? But the prognosis is that um, US interest rate will go up at some point and renminbi will continue to weaken. In which case, the bias for the ringgit is uh, to weaken. Right? But I don't think that there is so much weakening to go. Uh, but as I said, it really depends. Because the expectation of the US dollar rise has kind of dampened. Right? Uh, and of course, oil has improved, so our terms of trade are better. Uh, so, um, you know, if you ask me today, would I bet that the ringgit is going to back to 316? Right? Is it going to go over 450? I don't think so. It's an unnatural act. Uh, to go into negative interest rates. Yeah. So certainly, um, I don't see Malaysia going there um, and it's not a good policy.